Microsoft just gave us a ton of new information about their co-pilot agents at their Microsoft Ignite event. Their CEO, Satya Nadella, started off the keynote by addressing the multiple reports of AI progress slowing down and scaling hitting a wall published by top AI news sources like The Information, Reuters, and Bloomberg. Now, in fact, there's a lot of debate. In fact, just in the last multiple weeks, there's a lot of debate, or have we hit the wall with scaling laws? Is it going to continue? I mean, the thing to remember, at the end of the day, these are not physical laws. These are just empirical observations uh, that hold true, just like Moore's law did for a long period of time. And so therefore, it's actually good to have some skepticism, some debate, because that, I think, will motivate uh, quite frankly, more innovation on whether it's model architectures or whether it's data regimes or even systems architecture. So uh, it's a good thing to have. In that context, though, if anything, we are seeing the emergence of a new scaling law uh, with, with test time or inference time compute. In fact, OpenAI's O1 is a good example of it, and features like uh, the co-pilot Think Harder is built on O1. Uh, is all about using test time to solve even harder problems. So it looks like there really is no wall. Yes, pre-training scaling has slowed down, but we've already moved on to the next exponential curve, which is scaling inference or test time compute. This is what's paving the way for AI agents. The advanced reasoning that we see in OpenAI's O1 models is being leveraged to create AI agents that can perform end-to-end -end tasks with multiple steps and actions along the way, almost entirely autonomously. Now, when paired with other advanced AI capabilities like vision, voice, and more, you get a fully multimodal AI agent that can help you in ways you never even imagined. Just look at this insane live demo from their keynote where they show what's possible right now with multimodal agents. In this specific example, they're interacting with a customer service agent, but you can imagine what else this technology could be used for. Let me show you how all of these capabilities I just showed can create a hyper-personalized customer service experience that solves real-world problems in ways that we couldn't even have imagined a year ago. Okay, so I'm going camping, and my friend sent me this picture. And I want to make sure I have the right gear for a winter camping adventure, so I started a chat. Now, notice this is something that's now routine, AI interacting with me with chat and images. But I want to, chat's great, and, and we all love chat. But what, what if we can break out of the actual chat box and do a more personalized experience? Because it feels like, you know, AI today, um, it, it feels like it's all just like inside of your chat box. It feels like there's a, there's a lot of co-pilots and stuff. But what if we could do a little bit more and maybe make it a little more personal, hopefully with a phone call? Contoso concierge. Hello, is somebody there? Hi, Seth. Yes, I'm here. I see you're getting ready for a winter camping trip. Can I send the concierge page to your browser to provide more details? You certainly can. Send me to the concierge page, please. Great. How cool is this? Sending you to the concierge page now. You'll find more detailed guidance there for your winter camping trip. So this is awesome. What do you recommend for this camping trip? Hey, Seth. Super exciting that you're gearing up for a camping trip. Since you've already got the Skyview two-person tent, Let's build on that. Here are a few recommendations. First, Mountain Dream Sleeping Bag. So this is all great. Is there is a way that you can write it up for me so that I can see it, maybe with pictures? Absolutely. So right now what it's doing, it's going to take a, a couple of seconds to write an entire article for me, just for me. And you're probably wondering, well, hey, it's taking a couple of seconds. When is the last time you wrote a personalized article for someone that called you? in 10 seconds. Seth, I'll put together a personalized recommendation article with all these products and their details, complete with pictures. Give me a moment and it should pop up on your screen shortly. You already did it. This is amazing. I love everything here. Fantastic to hear, Seth. I'm glad you love the recommendations. Enjoy your camping trip. If you need any more help, feel free to reach out. Have an awesome adventure out there. How about them apples? 
So this is honestly incredible. It's literally like as if you had someone there in the room with you. You can talk with the agent, it can see and understand what's on your computer screen, and it can even literally control it for you. This is going to completely change customer service. I mean, I don't see how speaking with a human over the phone could ever compete. Unless they somehow have control over your computer, which I don't think most people would be comfortable with. But again, this is just one area where a multimodal agent can be extremely useful. In their keynote, they show a bunch of ways companies are already using these agents to automate certain tasks and save loads of time. Now, these agents are primarily being being designed for large companies to automate large-scale tasks, so for the average consumer like you and I, it's still going to be a while until we can actually use agents that are relevant to our needs. The fundamental technology behind these AI agents though is what's truly revolutionary. Just the idea of having an AI agent that you can ask to do things for you in your natural language, literally like just asking a coworker or employee to do something, and then that agent being able to access your computer and actually do that thing for you. As these AI systems get better at reasoning, which based on the new scaling paradigm of test time compute, they most definitely should the tasks they will be able to do will increase substantially, and eventually, they will be able to do pretty much anything an average human can do on a computer, and even more. Adding to this, they also showed in the keynote that you can create your own custom AI agents by literally just describing what you want the agent to do in your natural language. Now, there's obviously limits to what these agents can actually do, given this is still a very new technology, but again, think about what this will look like in a few years when these agents are significantly better at reasoning and just across the board. Uh, we're also giving you the ability to easily create your own copilot uh, or your own agents using Copilot Studio. You know, sometimes we sort of mystify these agents as things that, you know, somehow require a lot of effort to build, but it's really pretty straightforward. In fact, the, our vision is that it should be as simple as creating a Word doc or a PowerPoint slide or an Excel spreadsheet. That's it. Like when you say agent, think creating a doc. Um, you know, if I, I, you know, this example is a good one, right? I can create a field service agent by simply describing it in natural language, connecting it to a couple of data sources, in this case, a SharePoint site and my dynamic CRM. Uh, I can easily configure it to meet my specific needs, and you have an agent in seconds that's just now integrated into Copilot. So again, Microsoft seems to be directing this more towards companies and not really for consumer use, but keep in mind these agents are leveraging OpenAI's O1 models. We now know OpenAI is planning to release their own AI agent soon, codename Operator, that will be able to control your computer and complete tasks for you on your behalf. This will likely be something we only get to see next year, but we're already seeing the beginnings of AI agents with Anthropic's computer use feature, which gives Cloud 3.5 access to your computer. So soon we will all have access to our own personal AI agent or agents, just like we all have access to AI models. Models. As they get better at reasoning and start leveraging more modalities, the things they will be able to do will make this demo we're seeing right now seem like nothing. And then imagine how efficient and capable a single human being in the future can be if they have a multitude of these agents working for them, potentially hundreds at a time automating various tasks. This is going to truly revolutionize the way humans work and result in productivity gains that we never even thought of as possible. So I know I'm rambling a bit, but this stuff really gets me excited. I'm curious to know what you guys would do if you had access to a team of AI agents right now that were as capable as an average human worker using a computer. I know personally, the first thing I do is have them scour the internet for the latest AI news and deliver it to me as quick as possible so I can make sure I never miss anything. But let me know in the comments, what would you guys use them for? Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. And as always, if you want to stay up to date on future AI news just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button.